said when she was just five years old There was nothing happening at all Every time she puts on the radio There was nothing going down at all Fantastic. Um, you want to, uh, we're going to get a, we have some other uh, callers. I think they want to get on the air. If you can stay with us, Doctor, you've been very, very generous with your time. I don't want to keep you and uh, take advantage. Hey, Michael, uh, can I jump in? Please, Peter, go ahead. All right, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, you didn't get a chance to answer about, about not being taken advantage of, but, but go ahead, be, be gentle. <laughs> yes, right. be gentle. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I've been working with um, uh, beta carrier uh, filing a lot for the last three years. I'm on the I'm sorry. And um, uh, what the, this is a curious compound. We're, I'm, we're looking at it being biologically active in very, very small doses, um, you know, uh, microgram doses, uh, maybe even sub-microgram doses. Um, seems to hit switches on, in the body systems and, and metabolic systems. Um, Crohn's, it, it, it can play, it can be used, I think, to almost shut Crohn's off. Uh, seem to be able to do that a lot. There's a lot of folks in Michigan would really love to be able to show you or introduce you to people with Crohn's. Um, All right. Hey. And, go ahead. All right, go ahead. So that's good. So, yeah. Um, so we got a question. Michael about? is going to be heading out that way, I guess, to be chatting with you. You need to send out a sample of this uh, material that I work with uh, with phone station, so you can just see for yourself right. what it does. What What is the material? It's a, um, it, it, it's, uh, a blend of herbs and olive oil, uh, and it's generally applied topically. Um, it's a uh-huh. much more local defined uh, THC, a local delivery mechanism, topical delivery, so pinpoint delivery mechanism so it doesn't require as much THC to be administered to the patient uh, to be able right. to get to the desired location. If you can apply it topically to the, the big toe, for instance, no sense in flooding the entire body to be able to achieve that objective, namely to get the THC to uh, that toe. Yeah, I was talking to a Michigan doctor at the International Cadaveroid Research Society who is interested in uh, trying to develop a commercial uh, topical cannabinoid-based product for the treatment of skin cancer, and also at the same conference, been doing it for uh, three years. Hmm. Been doing it well, for I, three I years. Well, I there are a number of people that have been working on that, and that's the kind of thing that the by not having cannabis be Schedule Two, that is interfering with reasonable research, and that certainly is reasonable uh, research. Uh, to develop a topical, nobody's going to get euphoria from the use of a topical, but it might cure their skin cancer. Been throwing it on people for three years in Michigan amongst some very sick people, namely the the, the sickest uh, people, the medical marijuana community. Uh, they've been gathered in large numbers. Uh, I've been able to go out there and just and 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 try this approach with a lot of different uh, people. And a lot of people have responded very, very well with using this approach. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's not over. And the people that really love this are the little old church ladies, those kinds of folks, because it doesn't make the person get high. Right. They can make the swelling go down in their bones, you know, in their joints. And they can get some of the pain to go away, and they don't have to get high to do it. In terms and of when they uh, understand topicals, that. In, in terms of topicals, um, you've been preceded by the curanderos, the lay healers in southern Mexico and Central America, who've been using topical tincture of cannabis to treat arthritis in the small joints uh, since the mid or late 19th century, and uh, they've had pretty good success okay. with it. And I think I think it's important uh, the work that you're doing because a lot of people don't realize. Uh, that the topical application uh, can be beneficial for uh, several things, uh, mainly joint pain. So I can send you some out in California without Very good the cannabis pain. part, and you can uh, you can uh, uh, mix your own cannabis elements to it out there, and you can see for yourself. Um, I prefer people to be able to see it rather than uh, to hear about it. Uh, 
So that it's a personal, it, it, there's something to involve more senses when possible uh, to convey the information. Seeing it or feeling it personally is even better if, it, if you have like a joint pain or something like that. But um, I, I like to enable people with a different approach to okay. Chrome and, right. and other kinds of situations. It seems to work very well for that. Uh, but I'd like you to see it for yourself. Um, all right. So that's well, I'm not going to suggest that you send it through the mail or even UPS because uh, uh, I don't know the you know there's yeah let's be careful let's be careful that we don't want to be doing it. So anyway, Michael, yes. Yeah. What is the safe way to do that? Yes. We're not talking. Let's, let's discuss this at another time. But listen, okay. Doctor, you've been very, very generous with your time. I want to thank you for putting up with us. I want to discuss questions. it in the in the abstract that we should have research on this, and there certainly are tinctures that are available in dispensaries in California. There's no secret uh, about that, and uh, you know we these things should be available for people that have uh, medical conditions that respond to cannabis. I mean, after all, we had it in this country from 1854 to 1942. The American Medical Association testified against the Marijuana Tax Act. They said that this stuff uh, had medical value. Uh, the AMA uh, a year and a half ago came out and said it should be rescheduled. And this is after the American Nurses Association, the American College of Physicians, the American Public Health Association all said that cannabis should be legalized. So it's mainly the uh, politicians that are out of step. Uh, since the mid-1990s, over 75% of people in every poll that's ever been done have favored the legalization of marijuana for medical purposes. Uh, you know, basically the only reason that you have this continuing to be illegal is because you don't have doctors making the decision. You have uh, the criminal justice people making decisions, and it's not based on science. Excellent point. Very, very well said. And... Um, Doctor, I want to uh, I want to let you go. Um, you've been, as Thank I said, so uh, so fast, and I love hearing you know people of uh, knowledge and experience, especially in Michigan. You know, really explain and you know with the document and have experienced the uh, you know the cannabis in in a, in a practice and been able to. Uh, yeah, well, our next guest, by the way, I don't know if you want to stay on, is, is Carl Olson uh, from uh, Iowa. He's going to be on next, but I know you've, you've been. You don't have to. You don't have to. Please feel free to go. We're going to let you go, unless you demand to stand. But I, I appreciate you coming on, and we'd love to have you back another time, and we'll check back with you. And hopefully, uh, many of the suggestions you made uh, as we go forward in this battle for honesty and truth, and you know the things that the voters of Michigan voted for, your, your suggestions will assist us. And we really, excuse me, appreciate uh, all that you've uh, said. Thank well, you. I wish you good luck in your your fight. It sounds like uh, you have a few allies and you have some knuckleheads. If there's anything that uh, I can uh, do to assist you uh, with uh, information or suggesting people that might be closer to you that could testify before the legislature, uh, feel free to uh, keep me in mind. Maybe, and we may uh, call you on that. Maybe we get like a video, like a video uh, either conference or some kind of taping or something like that on some of these issues. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, and uh, very kind doctor and compassionate. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.